One of the biggest problems with alarm systems is not necessarily the products or even the way you install them. It's actually the user at the end, the way he uses the alarm. So he can forget to disarm the panel, he can maybe open a door when it was already armed, and you have a lot of problem that comes with it because then it triggers the monitoring station, you can have firemen, police coming to the situation, and well, nothing is really happening. That's why when you use an ecosystem like the Ajax Systems Alarms with their video surveillance, well, you have the perfect one-two combo. In that case, when an alarm is triggered, well, you can have video confirmation of what's happening in front of your screen. And with AI on the edge, you can even tell if it's a human, if it's a vehicle, if it's a pet, or if it's just regular motion. So think about it. A door opens, you receive your door protect notification, and then you see human detected. Is it your son? Is it a thief? So this way you can log in into the camera instantly from the notification and review what happened there. So no more false alarm. And how do you do this? Well, it's by programming video scenarios. This is something that was not really shown, but today we'll go from A to Z on how to program video scenarios for you to use and to create a peace of mind for the end user. All right, let's get to it. All right, first off, go inside your application. Remember that yes, the video device from Ajax are standalone, but to create video scenarios, you need a working hub because you're connected to the other alarms in the ecosystem. So once you're inside the application, you click on your hub, you click on the cogwheel on the top right, and when you go down, you will see video scenarios. So that's where you click. Right now we have none created, so we will do one right away using the Door Protect Plus and the turret cam that we have here. So I click on Create a Scenario, I select my Door Protect Plus, so anytime the door will open, my scenario will be triggered. So I click on Next, I choose the device from which it will start recording. So as you can see, I can choose either just my camera if I have a micro SD card on it, or I can choose my camera from my NVR. So this way it will record directly on the R drive. This is what we will do right now. So I choose this camera on my NVR. I click on next. And now for demo purposes, I will have it as always recording. So as soon as I will trigger this, well, my camera will record and we will have the footage. So I will say people systems. I click on save. And there you have it. So people system is triggered. So right now, let's see how this works. So imagine a scenario where my daughter comes back from school. She opens the front door. What happened? So I take my door protect here. Uh, she opens the door. She closes the door. And as you can see on my screen, well, I receive a bunch of notifications. So when I go inside my notification here, I have that my door was open, I have a video scenario that was executed, so I'm able to click on my video scenario and actually review what happened in front of my screen. Now, what you see is Oleg filming behind the camera, but if it was a thief, well, clicking on the top right, I can download the footage and save it inside my photo album, or I can just view the recording and it will appear on my timeline with a yellow icon about the executed scenario. So this way you know exactly when this was triggered and you're able to send the information to the concerned person. If you're an Ajax installer and you like these type of videos, guys, like and subscribe. We do this for you and we want to do even more. This is a bunch of video series that is coming on Ajax and not only the current products, but the future products because in a couple of weeks, there is the special event from Ajax, the multiverse and every single events, they release new products and we normally get, well, I will cross my fingers, we normally get our, the products in our hands before all of you guys, so this way we can test them and make sure they work for you. It's November 21st, it's at 1 p.m. EST, so Montreal time zone, be sure to log in. We will put the virtual link inside the description below, so this way you'll be sure to not miss it. All right, guys, see you on the next one.